Hello everybody, it's Penny Magnum here. So this isn't going to be a typical video. Um, usually in my videos I sing, or recently I have been doing some artsy stuff, but um, I really just want to talk to you guys for a second. So I try to my best to look at every comment, because I love comments. It is um, it's the, some of you, a lot of you, tell me how I can do stuff better, and that, I love that. I am a new YouTuber, I don't know how this works, I don't edit my videos, my mic is deciding to piss itself, which is why, bad audio right now, which is why I haven't been uploading, um, singing videos, because I don't want to sound bad. Um, and I love your guys' constructive criticism. Because that helps me become better. Um, I don't like when people just, like, shoot me down, or at least try to. But, again, I don't really care, because you're voicing your opinion, and that's your opinion. And, based on a song I'm working on, everybody has opinions, but that doesn't make them true. Um, it's not a song I wrote, it's a song I'm working on uh, perfecting, called I'd Rather Be Me from uh, Mean Girls. It is something I'm... that might be used in something else with me singing it. Um, maybe, because I auditioned with two songs and they liked both, so they have to pick. But um, what I'm trying to say is, like, I know a lot of people, some of the people that are saying, like, bad things, um, it's like, you've had a bad day and you're taking it out in the world. I don't really care. I'm not gonna, like, report you or something for that. Other people can do that, but I'm not gonna do that. Because we've all had a day where we just, like, don't like someone. And, like, sometimes we'll take it out on others. I've never done it online, but <laughs> I usually, like, am like, can you just leave me alone right now? Because I cannot take any more. That anger came from somewhere else. I don't know where that came from. Um... But, like, sometimes we need our moment to ourselves. Even our, my director, she'll be like, I'll come in to give her something or ask uh, her a question. She'll be like, can you wait a second, Emily? I need to take a moment in my office. I've had too much today. I was like, all right. Um, but sometimes these people know me, and it's personal. Like, um, I'm not going to name any names because he knows who he is. But some people went to elementary school with me. Elementary was the worst time for me. I just lost my grandma. I was in severe depression. I was thinking about suicide. I was... I was a bitch. <laughs> I sucked. Um, everyone who would, like knew me in elementary school can attest to that. Um, some people are probably like, oh, you weren't that bad. I was pretty bad. Um, but I think middle school kind of put it in perspective to me of, like, I don't give a shit about anyone else, so I shouldn't let what they say get to me. Um, so now, <laughs> that sometimes, because of things that happened in the past, uh, people feel that I need to take it out on me. Which I understand. I mean, people grow up. People mature. And, um, I'm not saying he's not mature, I'm just saying I'm mature enough to not care. Um, but I love when I see you guys defending me in the comments. And I try my best to read every comment, and if I don't get it to it, like, right away, I get to it later. And even if I don't respond to your comment, I have seen it. Um, but, recently, YouTube, um, added this new thing. And I didn't know about it because I hadn't posted lately. But I went on to one of my videos and I went to try and comment of like, oh, I wish I did better at this part. And comments were disabled. So then when I was posting my other videos recently, I tried to figure out how I could enable the comments. But it wasn't something I could turn on. YouTube turned it off. Because I apparently am too young. I'm turning 16 next year, or actually technically this year, because it's December 7th, um, and 
I'm a teenager. I am not a child. And this is my way of letting my voice out. So, because I love constructive criticism and I love to hear from you guys, and also, one thing the comment system doesn't give us is you guys can't send me stuff. My friends will, like, if they find something funny, I'm gonna find one right now. Actually, I'm gonna use one of my pictures. If we find something funny, we share it to each other. That's a picture from a show where we he was trying to make a joke, put a sombrero on we had in the boy's dress, and then just, I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a picture, and he just looked so depressed, and it was hilarious, because he was, he's this cheerful guy, and he just immediately went from, oh, I'm gonna put a sombrero hat and go on stage, to, it was, it was, it was great, um, but sometimes we'll send pictures like that, um, or we'll, like, one thing, um, I do, and a few of my friends do, is when we have a show, that we do, we will, like, um, some of the pictures that are taken, we'll look at it and be like, oh my god, I need to write something. So, like, we'll make a meme out of one of the pictures of us acting in our shows. So, like, um, the one I made for that photo was, like, haha, I'm dead in, I'm dead inside. Ha ha ha, funny. Ha ha ha, comedy. Um, <laughs> and it was supposed to be it was funnier than to everyone else, but my mom heard it, and she was like, that doesn't funny, I don't get it. Um, but, like, we do stuff like that, and I want to see your guys' pictures of you in shows. I want to see videos of you guys singing. I, I want to see all this stuff, because my friends and I are, I think, we're pretty hilarious. And I get to see some cool stuff, like, um, some of my friends' art, um, some other stuff. Just weird, wacky pictures of you guys, like, hanging out. Um, I have this cool picture of my friends, um, they were taking a picture, I wasn't in it, but, um, they were taking a picture for something, and one of my friends wasn't ready for the picture, so she's looking out, looking so confused, and everyone else looks so cool, and that, that picture is great, but, like, I wanna see these things, I wanna, like, I'm showing you all of me, so, you don't have to show me all of you, <laughs> that, don't take that, um, wrongly. I mean, I'm showing you what I don't show the normal world. I'm showing you the real me. Um, and those who find this uh, video, who may or may not see me every day at Westfield or saw me every day in middle school, which there was a time where I was bullied in middle school because everyone found my channel. Um, <laughs> oh, that was a trying time because I almost deleted my channel because everyone was just suffocating me basically and then I like got hostile ish again where I would like not talk to anyone if anyone tried to talk to me I would just be like leave me alone and like didn't want anyone to talk to me and it, with, if anyone came up to me and be like oh your channel because apparently there was a video where I was wearing a tan leotard and it looked like I was not wearing any clothes and so they believed me on it <laughs> Which I said to their face several times, and I will say again now, I was wearing a tan leotard. Which means, you can't tell the difference between a skin tone and the actual leotard. This is a bra. I don't care. It's a sports bra. Um, but, you guys see the real me, which is hard. <laughs> um, but I want to see the real you. Maybe it's, you do, like, the same thing I do. And, like, every time you get up, every time you go to school, you pretend to be someone else. You act like you're someone else. You aren't yourself. Because either you'll get hurt, um, people will make fun of you, people will bully you, or at least that's what you think. And ra while I... <laughs> a lot of people say, just be yourself, sometimes that's really hard to do. And a lot of people, me included, put up a face. We put up a wall between everyone else and us, and the only people that get to see the real us is, like, close friends and family. My brothers don't even get to see, sometimes, most of the time, the real me. Because, in my mind, for some of the moments, they're like bullies because of some of the things my brother says have done to me and like put me through 
like when I was in elementary school and when I was in middle school, I started stress eating or and eating because I was so depressed and I couldn't deal with anything. And so I started eating my feelings. And um, my brother, my middle brother, Ben, didn't make any of my issues easier on me. Um, he still does this to this day. He'll take his anger out on me and call me fat or call me names or say other things. And he knows me and has known me since I was a kid, so knows right the place right where um, I am vulnerable knows my weak spot, and he goes for it every time. And sometimes he'll be a good brother when he's hurt me, um, when he thinks that I am thinking about committing suicide because of something he's done, um, or when there's other people around. He will pretend to like me. And I put up with my brother. And I have put up with my brothers. Alex is a hermit crab. <laughs> he sometimes comes up to me and it's like tough love, I call it. Because he'll be like, you dumbass, you're supposed to put butter before you put the stuff in. And like, he'll teach me. And he'll, and like, I can tell he's cared, he cares for me. And I can tell both my brothers care for me. It's just one cares a little more than the other. Um, and... I feel like Alex doesn't really go all, I'm gonna use this more reference but it might not work, um, like, all Hulk on me. Uh, Ben does that frequently. Um, we butt heads a lot. And <laughs> I sometimes will just go to school and vent to my friends. Be like, oh my god, Ben sucks today. Because if I tell my dad, my dad always takes my brother's side. Like, one time my brother punched me, and my dad took their side, saying, well, you were interrogated, you were did it, you deserved it. I'm like, okay, so you would have punched me too? You're taking his side again. And whenever I say, you're taking his side, he'll be like, I'm not taking sides. Every time I'm in danger, he takes his side. If Ben pulled, put a gun to my head, he would probably take his side if he killed me. Which is why we don't have guns in the house, <laughs> because not only my brothers, but my mom has lost, has been like, I want to just shoot you right now. She doesn't mean it, but Ben, I can see, might maybe pulling a gun on me if I, like, was being annoying. Um, which I, I can say that I am pretty annoying. I'm the annoying little sister. But um, even sometimes where I'm just, like, going up to them and I'm like, hey, uh, can I ask you a question? He's like, go away. Can, can I show you something? Go away. Um, can I, um, or like one time, some, I make dinner for people in my family. I, I'm the one that makes the dinner. So, um, I'll bring him food and be like, oh, I made you food. Go away. Uh, I'll, I made dinner. I don't care. Go away. So you don't want to eat it? I can give it to someone else. He's like, no, leave it out there. So, I know how hard it is to exist, um, and I know that, that it isn't as easy to be yourself, so if you, like, need a shoulder to cry on, or an email <laughs> to cry on, um, or something, or you just want to tell me about what you're going through, um, I'm there, because I know there's a lot of people who say they're there, and then when you need them the most, they desert you. Um, and I don't want to be that person. And I know my friends are strong, and that they do need me sometimes, but I kind of feel like I'm annoying them most of the time, just being around them and being like, oh, can I do it with you? Or like, oh, can I be on your team? And 
it just, it, it, for me, it feels like a dagger in my heart every time they say no, but I know that they have other friends and I'm not like the mean friend and that it doesn't, it's fine and I know that it's not like them saying they don't want to be friends with me anymore, but there are times where like people will say something or someone will say something, one of my friends will say something to either another person or to me, and it feels like they're stabbing me in the back. Um, or it feels like they're plotting against me, or that, like, they just hate me, and so I will just walk away, and I will huddle in a corner, and force myself not to cry, because I told myself in elementary school that I would never like, cry in front of another person at school ever again. I did break that once, but it was because I was having a lot of issues and I was having emotional issues and I had a breakdown in chorus because I was so frustrated with myself, but I promised I would never cry in front of someone. So I keep it in. When people say something to me, I keep it in. And I have built up this habit that when someone says something to me, I deflect it with being mean. And I hate that. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be like what everyone else says is called savage. I don't want to be savage. I want to be nice. But like, people will just come up to you, pretend to be nice, and stab you in the back. Which is why I don't trust people if they come up to me and confess. Excuse me. Um, because I can't believe them. Because the last time I put my heart out there and um, I said, I think I may be falling in love with you, they ripped my heart out, stomped on it, and then I realized that what I was feeling wasn't love gratitude because finally someone who was like them didn't want to push me away or call me fatso or just be a jerk and so it wasn't love it was just friendship like I wanted them to be my friends and I wanted to be nice to them and I wanted them to be nice to me but people suck that's the truth behind things. Some people really suck, and I've been talking to this camera for 18-ish minutes. So, I am your outlet. If you want to talk, or just have a conversation, email me. I will leave my email in the description down below, because we might not have comments, but... I do want good, like, I do want good feedback, and I, in my first video, it was a, a video I made for a class assignment, actually, um, I created new lyrics to Castle on a Cloud from Les Mis, and, um, one of the lyrics in that, that I remember, is, um, uh, something like, uh, will be there to help you, me, your teachers, your friends, your family, or the ones that'll hold you up, or something like that. I wrote this in fifth grade, I don't remember it completely. Um, but I know a lot of people are going through some tough times, and not, don't always have a person uh, to support you and lift you higher, um, or it could be that you're so messed up that you just want to shut everyone out, and, um, I have done that, and I still kind of do that, um, but I also don't want anyone else to feel like that, because I have felt like the whole world is against me, 
and I have felt like it, no one would care if I went away, or if I died, and um, I was wrong. And the more people show me day by day, I know that I shouldn't have thought that, and I should never think like that. And I shouldn't have thought that the world was that horrible, that everyone was against me. And that, like, I didn't deserve to live. And I don't want anyone else to feel like that. Because recently, my mom told me that um, with my current health and all my issues, if I had a heart attack, I'd be gone. That I am really close and with all my issues could be really close to dying and with Kira and her say those words I know there's a lot of people going through worse I know that but with hearing those words I regretted everything I had ever done and I have so much love to give to the world and I don't want it to end soon. So, if there is anyone who needs my help, or that I can help in any way, whether it be emotional, or you just need a friend, I want to help you. Because I know there are people going through worse. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna die real soon, because I don't know. But I'm not in the best of health. And I haven't even told my friends about this yet. But I am working on it and finding a way for me to stay alive longer. So I can help the world. So I can grow up and become a vet um, so I can help animals, people, um, I prefer animals over people any day, but I know there are a lot of people like me who can't put their trust in people that easy. So I'll be here to lend an ear. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, email, and surprise. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.